So if you are one of the individuals in this country that has an internet connection, I'm assuming you do if you're watching this video, then at some point over the last couple of years, you have seen one of those insufferable, obnoxious PragerU videos. They show up on your Facebook feed. Your boomer uncle has probably shared one of their videos. Um, it used to play before basically every single YouTube video. They are insufferable and they spread misinformation and they are radicalizing people with bogus right-wing talking points. I even did a parody of PragerU back in 2019 that I will plug right here and tell you to watch. But the Gravel Institute is launching an initiative to take on PragerU and to take on their dominance because they're funded by right-wing billionaires. That's why we see them everywhere. They have the money and the resources to blast their videos on every single platform repeatedly. Uh, but Gravel is trying to challenge that by launching a people-funded initiative where they actually challenge PragerU and they try to de-radicalize the people who have been misinformed by PragerU. Take a look at this introductory video. Even though this is just like an introduction to what they want to do, they're already off to a fantastic start. Hi, this is H. John Benjamin. I'm here to talk to you about a big problem on the internet. It's called people emailing my wife. No, it's called PragerU. Imagine a huge stream of lies that pours into every computer in America. Imagine it's disguised to look unbiased and packaged into slick videos. And imagine oil billionaires give them tens of millions each year to indoctrinate your friends, your family. Well, that's PragerU. And the thing is, it works. One out of every three Americans online has seen one of their videos, and 70% say that Prager's videos changed their minds. This stuff makes a difference, and every day it is pulling people toward the right. At the Gravel Institute, we're building something to beat them at their own game. Short, high quality, easy to understand videos, presenting leftist ideas and refuting right-wing lies. Stuff you can send to your friends, your mothers, your secret lovers, your mothers, lovers, your known lovers. Oh, and we've got big name presenters from Bernie Sanders to Chelsea Manning. Here are a few that we've lined up. Okay, so this won't be easy and we're going against a Goliath, so we definitely need your help. We want this to be a collaborative organization guided by its members where we're trying to do something big. So hey, let's do this. That Michael Brooks shout out at the end, that hit me. So that was phenomenal. Now I'm gonna link you to their Patreon page. If you're watching this on YouTube, please look in the description box, consider supporting them. And I know that we're all stretched thin. You know, it's an election year. We donated a lot to the candidates that we support. You know, people are losing their jobs. So if you can't, then I understand. But if you can, please consider supporting this because this is truly something that can have a transformative effect in uh, improving American political discourse after PragerU is one of the entities in society that have been disingenuously trying to uh, mess it all up and make it more right-wing and radicalize people who don't know any better. Now, I knew that PragerU was a problem, but I honestly underestimated how much influence they have because in that video they point out one out of every three Americans has seen one of their videos and get this, 70% of Prager's videos apparently changed their minds. So when you have that large of a success rate, you're doing a lot to change hearts and minds across the country. Now, again, they have the advantage of, you know, being bankrolled by billionaires. Republicans are able to have a lot more influence and radicalize people because they've effectively learned how to use the Internet, right? Republicans online, like if you go on YouTube a couple of years ago, back in like 2013, 2015, there were almost no successful right-wing YouTube videos. And just five years later, six years later, they're dominant. They are the main source of news and information for a lot of people. And these are right-wingers who spread misinformation, who lie at the behest of Donald Trump and the Republican Party. So you see what money does, right, to just sour political discourse in that short of a period. Once right-wingers learn how to use the internet, 
boomers got computers, and then now all of a sudden this information is proliferating and people are much more right wing. It's scary how fast and effective this is. But I mean, it's a reality now. It's not going to go away. You can't put the cat back in the bag. So we, we have to counter. We have to deal with it. And I think this is a really effective way to deal with that. Now, what I love is that Prager, you, you, can, you can see that they're afraid because they were tweeting about the Gravel Institute nonstop the day, the day that this was announced. And they were retweeting anyone who was shitting on the Gravel Institute. And they actually responded to Gravel in the thread where they shared this video saying, help us reach more young people with our videos. Donate today. To which the Gravel Institute responded saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love that. Um, now, it's funny that like they have the nerve to ask for donations. Go get donations from your right wing billionaire daddies. Like, why are you asking normal working people, even if they're right wingers, to give you money? Like, no, go suck up to your billionaire donors. Like, fuck off. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, whenever someone who has funding from large multinational corporations or oligarchs tries to ask normal people for money, like not just them, but like politicians as well. Like, I cringe when I see this because no, don't ask people who are struggling for money. Fuck you. Like, that's my response. Now, what I love is that they uh, responded to Gravel telling them to shut the fuck up. And they said, stay classy. So, of course, you know, they went for the uh, pearl clutching response. But the Gravel Institute then followed up by trolling them for being hypocritical with this meme, which I love. Because, you know, on one hand, they cry about political correctness all the time. But on another hand, you know, as soon as someone is mean to them online, their first instinct is... It's to cry about civility and how, you know, there's no respect anymore. So they're literally on both sides of this argument. Like, they'll take whatever position is advantageous for them, depending on the argument that they're using. And if you uh, see their behavior on Twitter, whenever somebody calls them, you know, a fascist or a Nazi, they always share one of their idiotic videos responding. Like, they have a response for everything. Whatever thing that they've heard a left-wing person say, they have a video responding to that, which I think is why they're so effective, because they, you know, they set the narrative. They spread these videos around, which get tens of thousands, if not millions of views, and this actually, it works on people, right? Because the way that they present this information, it is easy to digest. It's effective. So if you don't know any better, I could see how you would be, you know, misinformed by one of these videos. And, uh, you know, it's why we need the Gravel Institute doing just this. Now, they already put out their first video featuring Brianna Joy Gray, and they take on capitalism, and it's really great to see. I really want to encourage you to watch this. Again, I'm going to link to this down below. They mimic the graphics and the style of PragerU, and this has the potential to undo some of the damage done by PragerU. And, you know, what's interesting about this is somebody who falls for PragerU videos and they, you know, are grabbed by this style of videos, like the editing and whatnot, they might not necessarily know that, oh, this isn't a PragerU video. And you can basically approach them, this person who doesn't necessarily know any better, from a position where they aren't just automatically up in arms because they know that this is a leftist video that they're seeing. They just think, oh, wow, this PragerU video is a uh, kind of telling me something that I didn't know and they're uh, disproving something that I was told before. Interesting. You know, maybe I want to learn more. And again, like the way that these videos are edited, they're doing a phenomenal job. Like they're editing it in a way where they display a lot of dense information, but it's easily digestible. And again, that's what makes PragerU so effective. So I am really all on board uh, with the Gravel Institute. Maybe one day you'll see me in one of their videos. Um, because I think that what they're doing is just, it, it's so important. Like, I kid you not, I think this is probably one of the most important things that the left has done in years. Um, because, you know, we're waging all types of fights, you know, for, uh, politicians that we support and reforms of many kinds. But this is something that we haven't effectively figured out how to deal with. The dominance of right-wingers online. They're dominant because people know about them because they spend a lot of money on ads. When the left, we don't spend jack shit on ads. Like, none of us advertise on YouTube. We aren't funded by right-wing billionaires. So, you know, they have a further reach than us, which is why they're so successful. Um, and I really hope that this is effective. And just based off what I'm seeing now, you can tell it is going to be effective because they're already living in the heads of the people at PragerU rent-free because of how much they're tweeting about the Gravel Institute. So I love this. Uh, kudos to Gravel Institute and their team. This really is 
important and potentially game-changing. 